Hey guys, Joey that's here, and in today's tutorial, I'll be taking you through how I skin tone my images, a melanin skin model with my melanin action. So with this image, I've already done a lot. So I've completely skin retouched this. So I'm dodging and burning of the skin and the skies and the surroundings, whatever you guys call it. So this is a quick before and after. So let's dive right in into the action of the day. So this is the action I created, the melanin action. If you guys have been checking my Instagram handle, I've been saying something about releasing my melanin action. So this is it. And this is what you get. So I have, I have already created a lot of layers in this particular folder. So all you have to do is invert this layer mask and paint on the skin. So let me take you through what I did in the layer um, in the folder. So first things first, with my selective color, I worked on the neutrals, the blacks, and the reds. And with my hue and saturation layer, I went straight to the reds, reduced the lightness, and then bumped up a little bit of the saturation. With the yellows, the same thing, reduce the lightness and reduce a little bit of the saturation. That's what I did here in the hue and saturation layer. With this, the gradient mapping, all I had to do was you can you can either use this or pick up a color on the skin where you want like i've been showing you in my previous skin toning images so skin toning tutorials where you use a gradient map use the brush rather pick the shadow area you want pick the highlights area you want and you pick up the the gradient map for it to give you this kind of feel but then again i've already created something if you want it fine if you don't want it you can change it so this one has a blending mode of soft light. This one has a blending mode of color, all grouped together and the opacity reduced. With the black and white, I just tint, tinted it, reduced the reds a little bit, the yellows, yes. And with my photo filter, I chose the cyan. Color balance to the shadows. This is what I did in the shadows. Add a little bit of blues and some bit of cyan and in my highlights I warmed it up a little bit some yellows and some reds but I can choose to you can choose to tweak it to whatever you want so with this I think I will reduce the reds a little bit add some blues into the highlights go back to the shadows let's add some reds rather into the shadows and reduce the blues to one let's see i think i'm okay with this let's reduce the black and white a little bit you took it to the way you want like i'm saying so the whole thing is this right so now let's invert the mask by holding control i on your keyboard or command i on mac right then pick up the paint brush, opacity 100, flow at 100. Then you zoom in and paint over the skin. Using a white paint on the black layer, you paint over the skin. You guys can see it affecting the skin already. So you can choose to do quick selection, mask the skin out, then apply the mask on the layer mask or paint it yourself. All depends on what you want, however fast you want this to be. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not being careful enough. So I'm painting into some of the attire. Uh, I'll paint it out, so don't worry. So this image I shot earlier this year with Sewa, she's Sewa Prempe on Instagram, uh, combining artificial light and natural light together, so high speed sync, if you're wondering what high speed sync is, well, you can choose to google it or you can choose to wait for me to make a tutorial video on that too, so all depends on what you want and then again leave a link down below sorry 
leave a comment down below if you guys want me to release a tutorial video on how to use high speed sync so now i'm about to carefully clear out the spillings Sheesh. okay so i think i'm clearing out some stuff too Let's paint back in the edges. Let's zoom in. Paint this back in. Let's see. Sorry, undo. okay so we are looking at something nice here let's see before and after before and after i like what i'm seeing already but as you know with me i always no matter what i think i've achieved i still reduce my opacity so with this i reduce the opacity to let's say 65 let's see a quick before and after before and after let's reduce it more to 50 before after before and after um i like this already brings out the melanin in her skin so she's a dark skin model i love it let me add a little bit of some tweaks to it. So adjustments layer, selective color. Let's go to the blacks. Add some reds into the blacks. A little bit of magenta. Let's see. Some blues. And okay, let's take out the blues. With this, I also reduce the opacity to let's say 25 before and after. Before and after, nicely done. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this tutorial. This is all I had to teach. I'll release this melanin action, so you guys should check the link down below. I'll, I'll put the link down below, and you get to enjoy this melanin action I created. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, turn on the notification button to get every tutorial video I put up here, or be the first person to know anytime I put up a tutorial video on my YouTube channel. Once again, thanks guys, and recommend me to a friend. This Christmas, rather. So, Merry Christmas to all my followers out there, and thank you for watching my channel once again. Bye!